What's going on everyone? It's Greg and today I want to talk about Dark Eden M. This is a newer game on the WeMix platform that does have a cryptocurrency aspect to it. Now before we get into that, let me just quickly thank the de developers of Dark Eden M for sponsoring this video. And so let's get right into it. Real quick, I want to go over the website and kind of like some of the background before we jump into the game itself. So they do currently have a launch event going on. Now, the thing I like about this game is it's like there's like two factions, right? So you got Slayer versus Vampire. So you do have to pick one of those factions when you start the game. And if there is like an overpopulation of one on a server, then it may be locked down. So you have to pick the other. So now each faction has their own classes. And on Slayer side, you have the Assault class, Chaser class, the Titan class, and Valkyrie. Then on the Vampire side, we got Bloodwalker. Dark Eye, Demonica, and Oculus. So these all the various between range and melee. Now, in terms of some of the contents, we'll briefly go over here. Um, in terms of leveling and things like that, you have field, the field quests, uh, achievements, dungeons, bosses, and various battles. Upgrades, various ways to upgrade your armor and gear. Conquest so you have like a guild versus guild type system in here with the conquest of Tamaria sanctuary and hell garden But then there's also the concept of the race war which is where you have faction versus faction it Doesn't matter what guild you're in at that point You know whatever it is you get together with your race slayer versus vampire and you work together to fight each other Now I know what you guys want to know about the most which is the cryptocurrency and for in this case, the coin related to Dark Eden M is the Debco. Now, something I like about this that's uh, different from some other games here, your currency is going to be the tier metal. Well, the material for the currency is going to be the tier metal. That's what you can go back and forth between Debco and tier metal. And the tier metal is actually achieved when you kill the other race or by completing missions. So I like this because it really promotes the PVP aspect of the game. You know, you're not just mining something, you have to get out there and actually fight. So for in terms of a little more detail on this, um, how you can obtain the medals by PKing the other race. Acquire, you can acquire medals by doing various missions and quests. Uh, you can acquire at space-time monastery or uh, sanctuary or PVP. You can get up to 70,000 medals uh, per week through PKs. In terms of the usage of the medals, we can use those medals for item uh, enhancement, spinning the roulette wheel uh, the tier metal store and for of course refining to the coin itself and finally i do want to mention that there will be a staking option which is you know always good to know that there is a future roadmap that the developers are working on to enhance you know things that can be done with the coin now let's go ahead and get into the game and try it out so i did actually go ahead and get started a little bit just kind of get a feel for things and I am on Rodin uh, 2 and at the time it was restricted to um, I believe it was Slayer let's see so yes I am a Slayer and I chose the Valkyrie you guys know I like my range classes and so that's what I went with let's go ahead and get in here now we are in the game before you guys start hounding me about graphics guys this is part of the appeal of the game and I actually really love this it is giving you the retro vibes uh, I feel like I'm in the arcade playing the arcade games i kind of actually really like this and um i think it's a cool aspect to you know bring to a game in 2022 now another key thing about this game that you know is interesting it helps with the bots in like afk is that some of the loot is you cannot you actually have to click on the loot to actually loot it and pick it up so you can't necessarily afk everything in the game but at the same time they do still make it easy with you know being able to click on the missions here and like i already completed this one so now we're gonna we're gonna go through the little dialogue here. Oh, now I can join a guild, and oop, we got to confirm. And let's see if we can go ahead and just pop into a guild real quick. All right, so we had went ahead and joined a guild, and as you can see here, you got various things to do as you do in many other games. We have guild activities, guild missions. There's a guild raid. You can create an alliance. There's guild buffs. Plenty to do within guilds. So let's go ahead and keep working through our missions here and see about leveling up. And we'll talk about some different features along the way and some of the cool things that you can do in the game. 
So as I'm going through the missions here, I uh, decided to look at the shop and take a look at what we got here. There are some various gadgets within the game. You know, that's always a fun thing to do. Which we'll get to that in a minute. But I did see on here we do have a um, a XP potion, which you can get up to 10 a day. And we did go ahead and get some gems here. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get this and see if we can get a little bit of extra XP. You can get these, I believe, last for 60 minutes. It gives you two times the uh, XP. So let's go ahead and see how we activate that. It says you can put it on the quick slot, which I believe is right here. So we're going to take this and put it on slot two. And there we go. We can go ahead and activate that. So now we're going to get twice the XP and keep working through these. Uh, oh, we unlock special dungeon. So can we give that a try? Let's see. So the special dungeon here does say we should have around 36k power, we're only at 26. So let's try to power up a little bit more, then we'll give that a shot. Now, another thing I saw on here on the uh, shop that was a nice little grand launch package. Uh, looks like we can get a vehicle summoning scroll and a few more rubies to add to our collection. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Let's see, item required to activate Roadmaster in a vehicle. So we're gonna get one uh, one specific vehicle. And it is this Roadmaster. Let's see some other cool vehicles here. Air Gator, Bigfoot, Tomahawk. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and activate our new vehicle. Actually raised our uh, power a little bit. I believe you can also upgrade the vehicles as well. So we did get, what is this considered? It's considered a com uncommon vehicle. How do we get some of these rare ones? I like this bad boy right here. How we get this? Required by uh, to activate Bigfoot in your vehicle. Uh, can be used as crafting material. Vehicle exchange drop right here we go. Shop vehicle leveling. Oh, there's a gotcha for vehicles and also a random box. So another cool feature of the game I was looking at here is transformations. So you have some transformation scrolls that you can use. And if we go to the transformation menu, we uh, currently have, uh, it looks like three, but when I try to equip here, let's see. I think it's actually you got to use the range one. You, have to, uh, you can't use the melee ones. So I'm not sure if we just register. Yeah, here we go. So we have to register that on here. And then if we use the transformation potion, make sure I get my loot here. Use the transformation potion. Boom. All right. So we have how long to transform. You see our power increased. We'll go over that in a second. But how long does this last? Um, do I see any kind of timer anywhere? I don't really see a timer. Uh, maybe it's considered a buff. Yeah. So we get oh, you get 30 minutes as uh, your transformation which is pretty cool and it gives a lot of stats. Let's take a look here. So for this one in particular, get a plus 9.5 skill MP regen, attack speed increase to 7%, HP increase, attack power increase, and a defense increase. Pretty cool little feature. I don't know if any other games I've really seen that. Um, I really like that. And guys, I got to mention, you know, I, I like the retro vibes. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like feeling uh, kind of like I'm playing back in, you know, in the arcade games. Um, but you know kind of like a retro MMO. I think it's pretty cool So speaking of transformations, let's do a quick gotcha here. See if we can pull any other cool uh, Transformations we got the gotcha 10 plus one as usual. It's always good to do that 10 pull if you get an extra one Let's see if we can pull anything good So we're gonna get a cool animation here Spinning cube bus open. I don't see anything shining Uh no, nah, don't look. Well, wait. Okay, so we got two green and the rest uh, common. So I think this is the same one I got, right? So can I upgrade it? Uh, let's see. Let's try one more pool. Or is that? Yeah. Okay. Look like another pool. That retry is a little bit tricky. Make you think you uh. Make you think you can just re-roll it. Boom. Oh man, that was a bad pool right there. So we now actually have a little submission for the dungeon. Before we get in there, though, let's take a look at the pet system real quick. So for pets, you have uh, options of all kinds of grades from common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Now, I had did some pools that I was recording, but then I had a little crash, and I did not end up getting that. So 
you missed the pools and um, it was a little bit subpar until we hit an epic so we do have an epic i notice it doesn't show up in the list right here but we ended up getting the snowman and the reason why it doesn't show up in the list is you can actually exchange it before you confirm it and take it so if you do a pet change it costs 900 rubies which is quite a bit but you'll get one of the other uh, pets all right so let's go ahead and try this special dungeon out let's see how this goes all right i got 19 minutes oh is it it is waves okay so we should be able to just auto here see how we do uh, in terms of power i'm right near the power threshold or the recommended power so let's see how we go oh look at all those misses man look at our evasion oh yeah let's go um how many waves do we have well um, one it doesn't say how many we're gonna get uh this is the easy uh material dungeon i thought it was xp but that's okay So not too bad, they're fairly easy to auto and we got a nice little chunk of XP. So we're still working through the story here at level 30. My goal is to get to level 40 and kind of show you guys how to use the new cryptocurrency that's in the game. And so while we're waiting here and working through these missions, let's talk about some of the different features. Uh, we, we did a dungeon, right? So we know there's dungeons and just a quick cover there. There's special dungeon, there's conquest, there's virtual training center and Abaddon Tower. Now, Abaddon Tower is going to be like a um, basically a tower that you go advance level by level, get some nice rewards. Conquest is you're going to have to work with your race, and that's open five um, uh, five different times during the day. You can see the times on the menu, and they correlate to the times on your game. There's also a feature with where we have chest engraving. And we don't have enough materials to do this yet, but it looks like it gives you some additional. Um, I said chest, it's crest and craving, it gets you some additional stats. And then we also have relics. Now, relics we don't have any yet, and I'm sure they're going to come up at some point in the game, but I did see a nice little gotcha in the shop. So let's go ahead and see, you know, can we can we get something good here off of the relic cap uh, gotcha? So let's open one of these up. And see and then see how we equip those uh we'll give it one more go since we at least want to get like a uncommon there we go all right so we have this one so we got one for this slot and we got one for that slot and we already registered that one so then we got this slot and we got that slot. so we got one for every slot for now uh nothing too amazing from the ones i got but i'm sure as you get more that are rare um that will help power you up even more and so let's take a look and see what else we got here we got of course a market so you can trade um on open market i'm sure there's some control on the prices there uh pvp so this is where we're gonna get our information about pvp pvp is gonna be really big in this game and of course this is one of the main ways you can get the cryptocurrency and for some more pvp we have the battle arena and sanctuary war which is a guild battle um looks like we can get into the arena which uh, we'll get a shot in a little bit and then we have a uh, bible war so i'll be honest with you guys i'm not sure exactly how this works looks like you need a level 40 promotion and looks like this happens oh okay so this is the big race war between the slayers and the vampires looks like this happens every wednesday uh for 30 minutes so we're gonna keep progressing here and then i will cut back in with the cryptocurrency and kind of how that works and show you guys how we can smelt it and how you can earn it and other than that though let's let's just kind of look do a quick overview here we got like a retro style mmo that has a ton of features and what seems to be a pretty decent mechanism for um earning the cryptocurrency instead of just mining and things like that i believe it helps deter bots to a degree so you have a uh, you know a main focus on pvp in order to earn the currency plus some missions as well i really kind of like that model and hopefully that you know leads to the success of the game and guys if you do enjoy like the retro style this kind of style graphics i mean i really think you would enjoy this game um it, it, it there's definitely a lot to do a lot to learn a lot i haven't even figured out yet 
so you guys should hit the, the link in the description go download the game install it give it a try yourself see how you like it make sure you let me know down in the comments how you like it and um and we'll get into this cryptocurrency in a minute so we're still on our way to level 40 and i noticed this little upgrade package in the shop and i thought hey this might be a nice little thing to add uh it looks like we get a weapon and armor set although the notes say that they aren't supplied so let's just go ahead and see what happens when we get this all right so we got our armor box here and let's let's see what we get all right all right so we did get stuff we got a plus six um bow and this is reinforced uh this is level one but it's supposed to be like a level 40 equivalent how does this compare to my current bow um i mean it seems to be pretty good here let's go ahead and get all this stuff equipped because it's definitely better than what we got on um okay so i think i said we're talking about that doesn't include maybe these things over here anyway you get a piece of all of this gear um with some decent stats it looks like as compared to what i had on at least some of the beginner stuff so definitely much more uh powerful than uh this bear bow i got from level 20. um so that's a good little thing little set of starter armor to get you going in the game um so i think that's pretty cool to pick up so i want to wrap up here by talking about the debco coin and the currency in general and the metals so in the game there are um, some various ways you can earn the medals so once you hit level 40 you can mint by coming to the screen and you can see if I try to hit uh, refine right now it's gonna say available at level 40 I'm almost there but not quite and I do believe I might have misspoke about the mining I think they're uh, in the sanctuary you can do some mining as well then within uh, PvP you can earn medals and from various quests you can earn medals and then in the sanctuary and space time monastery so these are all different ways you can earn the uh, metals to be able to refine to the devco coin and also at any point in time if you want to get some devco coin on your we mix wallet you can bring it in here into the um the game and spend it and as you can see here i did connect my wallet and i did actually bring some devco over and i have 213,000 metals in my possession um and from there i could go and i could refine for one um actually it looks like i can do even a partial um refine a debco so now that i'm level 40 let's go ahead and do this refinement i'm gonna go ahead and make one debco put that on my wallet so you can see here i'm gonna have 83,000 metals left over give me a little something to work with and so at this point uh once you just select the amount you want hit refinement and then we're going to put in our information um, for WeMix. You're going to have to scan your QR code with the WeMix app. So after authenticating on your phone, it's as simple as that. Uh, it said requested Debco exchange. Results will be delivered via the mail. So we go to mail, account mailbox, and one Debco refinement was successful. And at this point, I can see that Debco in my uh, wallet. So refining is as simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check the link in the description and download Dark Eden M and give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer any that I can. And maybe I'll see you in the game. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. I'll catch you in the next video.